Olivia and welcome back to Lullaby Live. If you're new to my channel, welcome and if you're a regular subscriber, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you or talking about my results after doing my 2 week triple 10 jump rope challenge which mixed up a variety of strength exercises as well like squats, push ups, deadlifts, mountain climbers, punches and burpees. If you saw my last 30 day um, jump rope challenge video, you would have known that I lost 12 pounds in 4 weeks and I've just gotten stronger and I feel better. Um, so I decided to try this 2 week jump rope challenge just to challenge myself, add some more um, variety to my workout and I just really love to do different challenges, they motivate me. So the results, um, I saw a lot of big changes. Um, I didn't really get as much foot pain as I did when I just, just started. I've gotten so much better. Um, I, I'm just a lot lighter on my feet. I'm like bouncing around. It doesn't feel as heavy. I stretch. I feel good. Um, I've learned a few tricks if a lot of you have seen in my videos. So I'm so excited to share those with you guys soon. I've, some of them just came naturally. I just like moved my feet and it, I didn't even know the name for them. And some I looked up and I tried it and I was just like, Ooh, I got it. Ooh, I got it. Ooh, I got it. In terms of like my back has gone down a lot. Like I feel like I mean, I posted a picture on my Instagram and I was just like, I don't have no back rolls no more. Like, they're still a little back fat, but I, they're not be rolling and I don't have two or three little tires ready to form. So that's like really good. Arms are a lot stronger. Like the, um, the different exercises that I did um, with the skipping, my belly's a lot leaner. Like, I don't have that bubble as much. So it's going down and I'm very happy. One of my biggest things was like I finally have to accept it because my mom and my sister keep telling me but my bra size has gone down at least probably a cup size. At first I was a little bummed out because you know, yeah, but in proportion my sister was like you can't be a stick with Mount Everest boobs so that makes, I know it's going to lose some boob weight and it's not like a lot where it's drastic but I feel like it, it's good. So I have lost a little bit of chest circumference. Am I? I don't know. This is so much. So I'm going to show you um, a video or pictures so you can see um, based on compared to my last 30 day challenge and this one. So I'm going to show you the pictures from then, pictures from now and what how things are going. And guys, oh, I forgot to tell you, I, I didn't lose as much weight as I did lose 12 pounds in 4 weeks. But I lost around 4 pounds this time. and it was like really good I've seen really good results I've posted every day to motivate myself as well as somebody else um, because these two weeks have been just like tough in terms of a lot of things we started this week I ate things that I don't even usually eat it's not like I'm, I'm not on a specific diet but I I had pop I had soda this week pear jacks if any of you know it which I haven't had that in like months to years so I haven't had soda in a long long time I had cookies I went and I went in on those chips ahoy cookies we bought them Friday today's Sunday and the cookies are gone and it's just like I was just feeling stressed I would stress eat I would just like pick and choose I wasn't paying attention to what I was eating as much so I think that hindered the amount of weight and my progress and I was just feeling icky because I was so tired I wasn't sleeping well this week but I consistency still paid off so I still lost weight and I still ate relatively healthy so I still have results to show you guys it's one thing when you feel like you lose weight it's like you feel like you're on top of the world and sometimes you start eating more than you would before like you're not on a diet but you're like oh I lost the weight let me just eat whatever now I can't have that cookie but no <laughs> that's a bad habit you don't want to take up because that's counterproductive Okay, so you just saw my results, you saw them for yourself, I didn't do any editing, I didn't do any um, body tricks, I just put it all there, it's going great, I can see my collarbones popping more, my face is showing a bit more, um, and stuff, so those are my results, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you try the challenge, and um, if you have any ideas for any other challenges, because, because I knew I had to make these daily videos, I was more motivated because I needed to do the work, because I didn't want to, I want to be real and authentic, and 
show you guys real stuff. Um, and so I want to be true to myself and true to whoever's watching. This week, I probably think I'm gonna try and play around with some hit stuff. I had a friend that sent me a hit workout, so if I, I'm gonna record it if I like it and stuff, and if it goes well, I'll show you what I did. Um, I want to try maybe studying to train for my 5K. If you were like one of my very first few followers on Instagram or subscribers, you'd have known I had a the Toronto Women's 5K that I was supposed to do on May 24th, so today. But because of Corona, it was canceled. So I was thinking I really want to start training to run again. I don't like running. And I don't like running. Don't get me wrong. I always believe that you should push past what you believe you can and try new things. So I've been trying to be a runner. Um, so I'm going to maybe possibly try to do that and see if I can get to the 5K again. I've run run walk, run walk, mostly walk, um, a 5k before, and it was good, so I want to see if I, um, my sister's going to be my trainer, I'm going to see if we can train around my neighborhood to run to 5k, um, run up some hills, see how it goes, and I'm also thinking of doing some more um, fun videos, in addition to my weight loss journey stuff and fitness and health, um, maybe I'll try, inc I'm thinking of incorporating some more um, videos, such as like my hair care video, or just like styles or stuff just fun things because I just like making these videos so if you're interested let me know if you want some of that fluff in your life I'm always down to try something new because it motivates me and keeps me going or gives me goals and things to look forward to um, yeah and just the key to everything is consistency so I'm just trying to be consistent um, and that's what's been show giving me good results so far so stay consistent and I will see you in my next video